Hello world, it is Thursday, May 18th, 2023, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's a, kind of trying to be a sunny day. There's a little bit of haze in the sky, but the sun's shining through. It's cool. It's kind of chilly, I think, in the upper 40s, and the high today is supposed to be 73, so it could be a pleasant day. There is a chance of rain tomorrow, late in the afternoon, I think, or, or evening. The devotion for today is entitled The Tale of Two Jesuses, written by Kaji Dosha. Kaji bases the devotion upon the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 10 through 11. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. And then Kaji writes, Tracing his finger on the ground, he changed everything, stones in hand. They were armed for war against her. She was a pawn, as people on margins so often are, in a broader battle with Jesus. Then he stood and saw her. He saw her, not her accusations, not the surrounding fury. He saw her, and he did not condemn her. Thanks be to God. I've heard this passage read in church stopping just there. Just as Jesus didn't condemn her, he doesn't condemn you either. The Jesus of this teaching overlooks all wrongs. Unfortunately, that's Jesus' light, not Jesus himself. The next line is crucial. From now on, do not sin again. Acknowledging that Jesus has expectations for our behavior, that he wants us to not to sin again, sounds like he is asking something too hard to pull off. It is. He knows very well that she will sin, that the rest of us will sin again, but that does not, that does not mean sin is good. Acknowledging this is key to our discipline and repentance. We examine our actions and inactions, asking God what to do. We turn back to God because God does not condemn us. And as we do, we have to know that God does not delight in or accept our sin either. Ironically, this is good news because the effects of our sin are, are things like the war of stones, the hypocrisy of accusation, the bullying of the marginalized. Thank God Jesus says no to such things. What Jesus do you know? The one who shames accusers into silence? or the one who gives the order not to sin. The one true God embodies both and so much more. And Kaji's prayer. God, we turn and know. Help us to emerge washed and refreshed. Amen. A couple of things that come to mind in this scripture reading and the, and the devotion is that... Um, Behind all this is the love of God, always. Knowing, even knowing that, you know, we we sometimes sin in our action and our inaction. And I guess I define sin not so much as something that defies the rules, but something that marginalizes or negates or um, minimizes uh, other people and tears down community rather than building it up. And I think we all have good intentions, but um, we all at times uh, fail either through our actions or, our in, or even inactions to live up to that ideal and continue to grow the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. Um, we're human beings. We don't always make the best choices, but um, we continue to go because we know we're still loved regardless and we're not condemned and we continue to try to do what's right, knowing that even in those moments when we fail, and we will fail, um, we're still loved and encouraged to get back up, keep going, knowing we're not condemned, and knowing that we should try again to not sin, and then we should go and sin no more. I hope that gives you some things to think about. There's a lot more in this one. I really like this devotional. Um, but listen to the reading of it again and see what you have in it. 
Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good weekend and hope to see you on Sunday, either in person um, in, at the church or on Facebook Live. Hope you have a good day and um, look forward to talking to you again.